From the heart of Japan's ancient forests to the edge of space, a satellite unlike any before it has been launched. This isn't your average chunk of high-tech metal, Japan's newest satellite is made of wood. Yes, real wood. But why go for something as unusual as timber for a space mission? And could this be a glimpse into the future of space exploration? Let's dive deeper into this marvel. Named Lignosat, this 10-centimeter cube satellite was developed by Kyoto University in collaboration with Sumitomo Forestry, one of Japan's oldest logging companies. But they didn't just slap this satellite together, it was designed using traditional Japanese carpentry techniques, crafted from hinoki wood, an ancient species known for its durability, lightweight properties, and resistance to extreme conditions. They used no glue, no screws, just precise craftsmanship. The skills and knowledge of generations went into creating this masterpiece. And why? Because Lignosat is an experiment, a thrilling leap into unknown territory. Wood may sound delicate, but in the vacuum of space, where there's no oxygen or water, it doesn't rot or catch fire. If this satellite survives, we're looking at a possible solution to a major problem, space junk. Right now, Earth's orbit is clogged with defunct satellites, fragments of old rockets, and space debris from decades of missions. If this mission succeeds, wood could become a cleaner, eco-friendly alternative for satellites. Unlike metal, wooden satellites can burn up almost completely upon re-entry, leaving little to no debris behind. Just imagine, an entire fleet of wooden satellites working seamlessly and disappearing when their job is done. So, how is Lignosat being tested? The satellite has arrived aboard the International Space Station, where it's being prepped for release into orbit. This little wooden cube is about to face temperatures plunging hundreds of degrees below freezing on one side, while the other side sizzles under the sun's rays. It will be exposed to intense cosmic radiation, powerful solar winds, and the challenges of orbiting at over 28,000 km per hour. This is more than just a quirky science project, it's a high-stakes test. If Lignosat survives the trials of space, it could pave the way for an entirely new era of green technology in space exploration. Future missions might not just be launching wooden satellites but could be constructing habitats for astronauts on the Moon or Mars using the very wood we grow right here on Earth. Imagine a future where timber, a sustainable resource, builds our homes not just on Earth but among the stars. Wooden structures could potentially be lighter, easier to construct, and far more sustainable. And since wood can be grown and harvested in controlled ways, it could become the building material of choice for future colonies. The team behind Lignosat dreams big. They even imagine pitching this technology to industry giants like Elon Musk's SpaceX, proving that Japan's centuries-old craftsmanship can keep up with the demands of modern space science. From the forests of Japan to the vastness of space, Lignosat's journey has just begun. Will it survive? And if it does, how will this humble wooden cube change the way we explore the final frontier? Only time will tell, but if Lignosat succeeds, we may be on the edge of a whole new era in space. Stay tuned to witness history in the making.